Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth, earth and, and all, all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful, to, to live, live together, together in unity. unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and, and peace, peace join hands. hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our and mouths our shall proclaim your praise. praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your, your people, people rejoice, rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your, your spirit, spirit of freedom, freedom sustain, sustain us. us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore, Restore us in body, body mind, mind and, and spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our day bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that we are made in God's, God's image, 
befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit, with people everywhere. We affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. You, God, are my shepherd. I need nothing more. You let me lie down in green pastures. You lead me beside still waters. There you revive my spirit. You guide me in the right paths, for you are true to your name. Were I to walk through the darkest valley, I should not be afraid. For you are at my side. Your staff and crook support me. You spread a table before me in clear view of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup is overflowing. And failing goodness and kindness will follow me all my days. My home shall be in God's house as long as my life shall last. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Hebrews chapter 2 verses 10 to 18. It was fitting that God, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For the one who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one Father. For this reason Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of the congregation I will praise you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I and the children whom God has given me. Since, therefore, the children share flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared the same things, so that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. For it is clear that he did not come to help angels, but the descendants of Abraham, Therefore he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every respect so that he might be a merciful and full high priest in the service of God to make a sacrifice of atonement for the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested by what he suffered he is able to help those who are being tested. the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. God loved the world so much, this we know, this we know. God loved the world so much, this we know. God loved the world so much, the world and not the church, that Christ came into touch, into time, into view, declaring he would make all things new. When people heard his voice, oh, Yeah. 
we recall today Caiaphas, the little man lost in a big job, living the limelight but fearing the engulfing dark, for the political compromiser who once may have heard the child Jesus speaking in the temple. Did that smile that encompassed all once meet his eyes in welcome before he took another path? We pray for all those in political life that they may hold themselves in the truth. But those who walk the corridors of power may yet respect those who clean the corridors of power. But all may work for the same end. Amen. We pray for the priorities and concerns of the Iona community, for the world, for members of the Iona community and their families, and for associate members. On the eighth day of the month, we pray for the implementation of the community's economic witness, money to meet our needs and a just economic order. We pray for the leaders and peoples of the countries of Slovenia, Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Kosovo and Albania. We pray for the Iona community members belonging to the family group of Glasgow West One. Sally Beaumont, Brian Quayle with Sinead, Norman Shanks and Ruth Douglas Shanks, Alice Swinfin and Robert Swinfin. And for the Iona community members belonging to the family group of Glasgow West Two. Marlene Anderson and Alex, John Bell, Pat Bennett, Fred Booth and Ellen, Bungie, Bun Bungie Bunting and Mandy Allison, Cathy Galloway and Catherine Rennie. On the eighth day of this month, we pray for associate members in Argyle. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O Christ, you are within each of us. It is not just the interior of these walls. It is our own inner being you have renewed. We are your temple, not made with human hands, we are your body. If, if every wall should crumble and every church decay, we are your habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes with which you, in the mystery, look out with compassion on the world. So we bless you for this place, for your directing of us, your, your redeeming of us, your presence among us. Take us outside, O Christ, outside holiness, to where nations clash at the crossroads of the world. So shall this building continue to be justified, and your people find cause to bless your name. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will, will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that cost us nothing. 
Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek seek peace peace and and pursue pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God God in community, community, holy and one.